the Salutrians lived 4,000 miles and an ocean away from the Chesapeake, around 22,000 to 17,000 years ago. We still don't know why they died out, but their mastery of this long-ago world depended on one thing above all others, manufacturing the stone weapons that allowed them to hunt and kill. If you say the word Salutrian to an archaeologist, this is the tool that often comes to mind, this bi-pointed uh, knife-like tool. What's well, often extremely respected is to have something this long and wide that's this thin. The Salutrian's unique innovation was what is now known as overshot flaking. They struck stone with incredible precision, causing fractures that fan out from the point of impact. They endlessly repeated this to create a leaf-shaped weapon sharper and thinner than any before. For Bruce Bradley and Dennis Stanford, the Salutrian tools were a revelation. The similarities with the finds in the Chesapeake Bay seemed overwhelming. This is a cast of a Salutrian biface, and this is one from the Chesapeake. They match in terms of shape, method of manufacture, size, and use. And uh, we're getting a lot of these artifacts. Yeah, th this projectile point, it's a broken base from the Chesapeake, and this is one from France. Actually, look at that. They're almost identical. And that was a conundrum. You know, what the heck is going on here? Could this happen accidentally? We argue no, absolutely. It couldn't be unrelated. Stanford and Bradley had found a match, but it seemed to defy logic. Simple geography means the Salutrians could only have traveled to America from the wrong direction arriving not on its west coast, but its east. That would mean Ice Age people succeeded in crossing the Atlantic many thousands of years before 